guys welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a new is it going to be a weekly vlog or is it going to be a one day vlog who knows at this point i feel like my vlogging is just literally all over the place at the minute but it's fine it's all good thought i'd start this vlog off with a little makeup tutorial because i had a few dms and a few comments on last week's video asking um to do like an updated makeup routine if i'm honest not a lot has changed actually maybe it has no, I don't think a lot's changed to be honest. Um, but my makeup routine is so quick and easy. Like you could honestly do it in five minutes if you like concentrating. So thought I'd do a little mini tutorial. First thing I do is use the Ren. Um, what is this actually called? Ready Steady Glow Daily AHA Tonic. As you can see, I am literally running so low. I keep forgetting to reorder one, and I really need to because. I can't live without this this is like i think my third bottle of this and i try and use it pretty much every morning um just all over my skin you can already see like it leaves such a nice glow i'm also using my viewfinder so if i'm looking at myself that's why um i've obviously had a shower this morning and washed my face in the shower um but you can see it still even has like product coming off bearing in mind i double cleansed last night put a toner on last night, washed my face in the shower. Like, I don't know if that's just, like, actual skin. Like, I've got a natural tan at the minute. I don't know if that's just that coming off. But anyway, use this first all the time. It gives my skin such a nice glow. And then the best moisturiser ever for a glowy makeup base is skin food. Honestly, this stuff is a game changer. It's so thick. You literally need the tiniest amount well that's not even that tiny but i like quite a lot because oh hello there you've been sleeping downstairs haven't you come and have a little hug with mum while i do my makeup um so i put that all over my skin this honestly leaves your face so glowy wait until you see this it kind of feels like quite thick to rub in because it is really rich um but wow, I'm honestly obsessed with it. Especially when you're wearing foundation. So, as you all probably know, I don't really wear foundation day to day. I wear it on like a night out and that's about it. Um, but when you do put this under foundation, wow, it's such a good base. Are we all seeing that? Like that is a glow before we've even put any glow products on. I feel like skincare is the key to like having glowy skin. Like it's all in the base just obsessed please buy that i'll link all these products that i speak about down below as well um and then the first thing that i do when i'm doing my like simple everyday glowy no makeup makeup look is brows raved about this a million times before the refi brow this is like the sculpt that you put on so i just brush that i need a mirror through your brows putting them in the direction that you want them to go just obviously bushy i just find that doing this first before i do anything else it stops any makeup getting like caught in it um obviously i put bronzer like around my forehead and around here so sometimes if i do it after i feel like it picks up product okay so now that that is in my brows um and they look a bit crazy i just like to let it set for like a few minutes just to like work its magic before i go in and actually shape them and while that is setting, I go in with the Nude Sticks Nudies Blur Stick. Me and Alex both got this um, a few months ago. We absolutely love it. We've got the shade Deep Nine. It's just a really nice contour stick for like a more natural um, everyday look. So I literally just put this a little bit there, a little bit there, a little bit on my forehead, down each side of my nose. And then I do like a couple of little dots along my jawline. So that is that done. And I do that while my brows are setting. Because it's all about time, you know. Have a little drink, stay hydrated. Also, if you don't know about the Nivea moisturiser, if you're an OG, then you know this moisturiser goes long, long, long way back with me. It is the glorious, nicest moisturiser in the world i'll link it down below 
it's the best um so then going back in with the refined product i used so this one's it's like double ended almost so that's the side i've just used and then when you pull that off it's actually like a brush and i just go over the hairs and brush them into the position that i want them to stay in and the, honestly they're going to stay there like this stuff is so good and that is my brows done i then just get this morphe brush it is m6 which i got when i bought the nude sticks because it's really nice to just blend it out and i just drag this in like an upward motion and just like kind of dab it in blend it in doesn't have to be too precise i'm not too um hard on myself you know again with the forehead making sure that you pull it up not like dragging it down so it crosses like your whole forehead It's just such a nice colour and it's so buildable as well. Like if I wear this for a night out, you can really build it up. Blend in the jaw. Corby's running downstairs and I always fear that he's doing something naughty when he goes downstairs when I'm upstairs. And then also down my nose. I'm not really precise when I contour my nose. I just like a tanned nose. That is it really. Like I'm not bothered about really like carving it out or doing any like magic nose job vibe um just a little tan nose you know that's what i'm here for i then go in with the refi um cream bronzer i use the shade tan and this again is just amazing i've raved about this a million times and i just go over where i've contoured and just kind of like blend it out and add like more color and more of just like a bronze like so I do that in all the same places that I just contoured. Plan of action for today, me and Alex are actually going to Birmingham. Um, we're going to go and look in the big Primark because the Primark there is huge. I've never been, I've heard amazing things. We're going to go to the H&M home because that's big there. Just have a nice day out and I'm actually really looking forward to it. Because yesterday I was feeling just like rubbish. You know when you have one of those days where you just doubt yourself and you feel like you just being really hard on yourself for no reason that was me yesterday so i'm happy to have like a day out and do something fun today i'm really looking forward to it i'm feeling very festive i've already said to alex we're listening to christmas music on the journey there and she fully supports it so that's great i'm very excited for that and i will of course bring you along with me i'm hoping i can get some good stuff because recently when i've been going to primark i've just not been impressed like i've not been getting anything and i really want some nice new pajamas my pajama jaw my pajama drawer really needs a revamp i've got hair on my face right okay so that is my like base skin done i then go in with so i use a mix of blushes and i change every single day you all know i love nars taj mahal for like more of like an orange blusher look and this is still my favorite however when i'm going for more of like a natural everyday look i really like the beauty bay peachy blush which i honestly think is so cheap like i can't remember how much it is but it's very cheap it's almost like a muted taj mahal it's still orangey but a little bit more pink um and i just put that on the high points of my cheek i also think this brush has like a little bit of Taj Mahal on it as well like because I always mix the two so I just put that on and I like it on my nose as well because I like um to look as if I've naturally just caught the sun it's the vibe we're going for oh, I just love blushes so much it really is my favorite thing in the world I then go in with a very messy packaging from me um but the refi highlighter this again i need i really need to clean that that's file dion um but this highlight are you gonna be able to see that is stunning oh i've got on my on my other finger right so what i like to do is is just put it on to my hand there because then you can like choose how much you put on and i just dab it in and then just work it into the high points of my cheekbones 
It's honestly the nicest highlight ever. It almost looks like your skin is literally like just dewy and wet and I'm sorry but I'm here for it. I also put this on the tip of my nose and down the centre of my nose and also just on my cupid's bow as well with any excess. Also if I've got any excess on my finger I just dab it like above my eyebrow. Don't know why, just think it looks quite cute. So that is literally pretty much my whole makeup done like skin wise i don't usually wear like concealer or like under eye concealer on an everyday basis but what i do do if i'm looking a little bit too oily like around like my chin or like my forehead i just go in with the nyx hd finishing powder um and just this real techniques brush and just put a little bit of that on the areas that just look a little bit too oily Sometimes do it under my eye just a little bit, but not a lot. I don't really need to fill in my brows a lot because I had them um, laminated a few weeks ago. Um, but I'm just going to fill in a couple of little sparse areas using the Too Faced Super Fine Brow Detailer. I do usually like the Refi one, but I have run out, so I need to buy a new one. But this one is also very good. It's nothing better than when you've got fresh brows and you don't really need to touch them makes life so much easier okay for lips i've been enjoying more of like a natural lip balm style lip at the minute um so i've been going in with beauty bear lip liner in shade heather it's just like a really nice pink and is that a spot coming there looks like a little rash um i just line my lips really lightly with this like not a full line just really lightly see what I mean like it hardly really looks like I've got anything on it's just a really light line over to overline them a little bit and then I've just been going in with my holy grail product I remember being a kid and sitting on the balcony on holiday and my mum like giving me a little bit of this and seeing my mum use it and it's always just been like a holy grail ever since I honestly love it the Elizabeth Arden 8 hour cream I use this on everything like everything if there's a cut it's going on it if there's just anything okay it's the best thing ever um so i just take a little tiny bit of that and just use it as a lip balm and that way my lips feel hydrated and protected all day and it also just gives them like a really nice glossy finish there we go and that is the exact makeup look that i had on in last week's vlog for anyone asking and yeah, this is what I do pretty much on a day-to-day -day basis when I can be bothered to wear makeup. I definitely do not wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, but yeah, very easy, very light, very wearable. And not that many products used, in my opinion. So yeah, I will link everything I've used down below. I'm going to go and quickly do my hair, pick an outfit, and then I'll pop back on to show you what I go for. bright guys I was just like getting ready finishing my hair and I was looking at myself in the mirror and I was like something's not right like what have I forgot to do I didn't even put mascara on you all right Dion anyway I've added mascara now I use the iconic London um triple threat I'll leave it linked down below I've also straightened my hair guys honestly my hair just doesn't stop growing I'm telling you now get on grow gorgeous because it works like i'm just so happy with the condition of my hair let me show you my outfit okay it's a pretty basic outfit but i just felt like going for like a full black look so i've just got oh my god i just realized my whole outfit is from northern kisses i literally mention them in every single vlog because i love them um so this long sleeved knit black jumper it's from Norton Kisses and so are these leather wide leg trousers really like them together just a very like put together but easy look and then I'm going to just throw on my 
black and white Jordan trainers and my fashion drug bag and that is the outfit and I'm not going to wear a jacket because I hate shopping in a big jacket like you know when you're in a jacket and then you get into the shop and you're sweating I'd rather be cold for the five minutes walking from shop to shop and then be comfortable to shop does that make sense let me know if you agree because honestly there's nothing worse like in the winter when you're Christmas shopping and you've got like a mammoth teddy coat on and then you step into Selfridges and you're sweating it's stressful um so yeah this is my outfit i'm just waiting for alex to come and get me now um and we will be on our way we have arrived in alex's hometown she's shown me the ropes <laughs> of birmingham who says birmingham like birmingham like that Americans. Yeah, Birmingham. Birmingham. Oh, it's, oh, I'll tell you who it was. It was Do you know what thingy off first dates. He said, um, Fred. No. That's a good little spot for a camera. That is. Um, the American guy. The, American the love guru. What's he called? Paul. 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 He said Birmingham. Do you know what I do really hate? Is like a pet peeve. I'm sorry if any of you guys do this. It's when people pronounce Birmingham and don't pronounce the G and they call it Birmingham. And I'm like, do I do that? No. B Birmingham. No, Birmingham. You say Birmingham, but it's when people call it Birmingham. And I'm like, Birmingham. there's a G in there. I'd like you to pronounce it, please. Pronounce it right, okay? <laughs> I'd like you to pronounce the G. <laughs> my um, G. My G. No, we have just arrived. We are going to head into Selfridges. We're going to go, main priority, Primark. H&M Home. H&M Home. We want Christmas decorations. Christmas decks in full swing. We're going to yeah. go. White We're ready. Com white company. We're white go. company. We need to ask the white company a serious question because Alex has gave me some information this morning which don't know if I'm happy it about. It might have changed the Christmas game. So, you know the big candle, the massive winter candle? Um, if you watched the vlogs last year, I got it for yeah, Alex. Yeah, it's got all like, the dried fruit in it, it's dead Christmassy vibes. Unreal. Nice little centrepiece for your coffee table. <laughs> Apparently, they're not doing it anymore this year. No, they've only got it in the smaller size, which is rubbish. Which I'm upset about. So, we, I need to go and speak to someone in there and ask we if their facts to a manager. Are true. Can we speak to a manager, speak please? Speak to a manager, please. Find out where your big, extra large candles are. <laughs> <laughs> I want so, the that large is ones. the plan, and we potentially could be going to San Carlo for the peas. Just for the peas. Peas, Prosecco, oh. pizza. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> <laughs> so that is the plan. Money coming, money go. I've been at it. I've been at it on a low. Trapping at a while in. I keep seeing the leaders doing this. We talking plans and maybe seeing you. Pull up on you, let me school. Nobody here but me and you. Got a little ring to it, turn that thing fluid in the cool. Why you look, I know it's real. I'm on my my shine shit. I've been really getting a feel. You know why I'm here, don't act like you don't know how I feel. But let me tell you what you mean to me. Slide on me for that mean greet. Vibe with me in the moonshine, sipping moonshine to the new sky. Taste toasted to be race soaked in the raincoat. Hit the waist quota, I'll be flossing. I'll be locked in. I was lost here. All that turned me to a target. Plotting on me, I'll be cautious. Then I was an adolescent, then I had a lesson, I'm the man now I got fans now, I'm on cam now, I got plans now I'm finna branch out, grew up quick, but never let go of this year All of that bullshit is in my rear hey. Blues and papers, blowing vapors, wooden traders Long hair killer in my villa, bitch I made it Used to play to play, now I think we major now She wanna lay me down, I'ma need you to hold me all the way down Put it down for me, say you down for me, say you Say you hold it all the way down Hold it down for me Hold it down for me Say you Say you hold it all the way down Say you down for me Hold it down for me Say you Say you hold it all the way down Hold it down for me Guys, can you actually just sit, look at this? Alex, hold your bag up Oh my gosh Oh! It's been Wait. a success Successful shopping Should trip Should I go on one side and you go on the other? Yeah, I'll go on this side. I'll go this side. Oh my god. When I say that Primark home was incredible. Incredible. It was in. It was literally insane. better than like H&M home, Zara home. It was the same kind of vibes, but a fraction of the price. It so was good. so cheap. I'm going to give you a haul when I get home because 
I can't wait for the Christmas haul to show you these things. Like, I'm too excited. It was me and Alex literally walking around, just like gasping and just like, right, yeah. mine are just gonna have to be like that because I don't That's know what's um, so We were literally so impressed. I'm sweating because the bags were that heavy. Um, I can't even tell you how good it was. Like, I literally said to Alex, I'm never shopping in the Nottingham Primark again. We're coming to Birmingham whenever we need to go to Primark, yeah. and that is just that. Um, so we literally had to come with the car to drop the bags because our arms were killing. We could not have walked around with them. We're now going to go and get some food. We're either going to go to San Carlo or Alex says there's some nice sushi places at the bottom of yeah, the Selfridges. Bottom of Selfridges, all the food bits, and they're so good. So that is the plan. We're going to head back in, and then we've got H&M Home and Selfridges. It is time for a food break and with Kimmy or Sushi. Love it here. Time to pull up Sorry. before. No, you help yourself. <laughs> Don't you worry. I'm so hungry. Before we hit H and M home. She got back last night, was knackered, had a walk, call, be, had some dinner and went to bed. Like, I was so tired. Um, but I thought I'd quickly come on before I end this video and show you what I got from Primark. I was going to wait and do, like, well, I am going to do a Christmas decorations haul. But I'm ordering literally stuff every single day. I'm a bit, going a bit crazy, I'll be honest. This morning I ordered a load of more stuff. I just, I'm very excited. Um, so... That is coming, but I thought, let me just show you this stuff because I can't hype it up the way I did and then not even show you. That would just be really mean of me. I don't know what is going on here, to be honest, but we're just gonna we're just gonna go with it. Right. First thing that I got is this big chunky knit throw. This looks so expensive, it was only £24. My idea for this is to like drape it over the couch. I'm gonna get, well I actually ordered this morning, um, a really nice like Merry Christmas cushion for the couch. Um, so yeah, love that. I thought it was a really good price for what it is. Usually like chunky knits like this are really expensive. And the colour scheme really goes with my living room. So I think that'll look gorge. Can you just be careful on the bed if you're gonna be here? Because there's a lot of items on here that could easily be smashed. Thank you. Then got these two candles, which are forest, pine, and winter woods. Honestly, these smell so good. They're really strong. Oh my God. Do you know how hard it's gonna be for me to not decorate the house literally today? All I wanna do is decorate and I just can't. 
I'm going to decorate soon. I think I'm going to decorate in like two weeks. End of November time. I think that's acceptable for me. Um, but yeah, I've got these two just for like anywhere around the house, living room, kitchen, bedroom, just like a nice smell. Um, I then got in the exact same scent, this very white company-esque candle. Um, I did pick up two of these in the smaller version from Primark a couple of weeks ago and it's kind of like more red berries, kind of like the winter candle from the white company. And I'll be honest, they've discoloured, like obviously this bit's white, where I've just had them sat in the cupboard, this bit's now like the same colour as the berries. It still looks cute and Christmassy, but it's not quite the same. Um, so I'm hoping this one doesn't go green. Hopefully. Um, but I love that. Very white company, and it was literally £10. What a bargain. It obviously doesn't smell as strong as the white company ones, but for decoration purposes, I think it's brill. I then got, can I just say as well, Primark Home was giving me such H&M vibes, like it was so good. I can't even stress enough how good Primark Home was. Um, I then got this little like Christmas tree serving plate thing. I thought like you could put chocolates in there, nuts in there, anything in there. They had, what have you got? One minute, Colby's doing something annoying. They had this in a bigger size and a smaller size. This one was £6. This is the smaller one, um, and I just think it looks really expensive. It's got like a gold reg trim around it. Really gorgeous for the Christmas table. I then got four of these, um, like, what are they call Charging plates. Chargers? Is that right? Yeah, I think it is. Um, like, that you put your plate on. Gonna have these out on the table all the time. I've ordered, like, a really nice centrepiece for the dining table, and I thought I could have these out, get some little decorative bits to put on top. On the bottom, they're like textured um, and then just smooth glass on the top and they were £6 each. Again, a bag and I got four of them. They're all wrapped up. I'm going to keep them that way. And then I have to save the best to last because honestly, I don't think you understand. I have not stopped talking about these since I got them. So, I got these candlesticks. I got two of the big one and two of the small one. When I say literally not yesterday but the day before, I was um, about to order these exact same things from the white company. Like, I'm not joking, they're identical. I need to get them up to show you the difference. Okay, look. So that is the white company one, which is £25. This is the Primark one, it's glass. And it was £6 for the big one and £5 for the small one. I honestly was gonna buy the white company ones because I seen them last year and I was like oh, I'll get them next year and I love them I just think like they look so nice like around um like imagine like on the dining table little garland going around some pine cones nice candles in here and Primark had them please run to your Primark and see if they've got them I really hope they do because I might go and buy some more I'm just you know when you see something and you're like Oh my god, I just love them so much and it's literally a glass candlestick but I really do love them. Um, so yeah, like I said, I got two of the big ones and two of the small ones. Yay! And then we didn't even end up going to H&M home because by the time we'd done everything we needed to do, we were like, oh, should we just, you know when you're ready to go home, like, we can go back to go to H&M home and Primark definitely fulfilled what we were looking for. Um, but yeah, it was a lovely, successful day. It's got me feeling so festive and I'm just excited for more cosy, festive Christmas days to come. Like just, yes, bring on the festivity. And Costa have their Christmas cups, which is just great. I think Starbucks co uh, Christmas cups come out today as well. So jingle all the way is what I say. But yeah, I'm gonna wrap this video up here. I really hope you all enjoyed it. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe if you did. And as always, I will see you in the next one. Bye.